Two weeks ago, the U.S. Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, now President Biden making a decision of his own. He signed an executive order today to expand access to reproductive health services. Alicia Nespreto is live tonight in the newsroom, breaking down what this means for women in Texas and beyond. Alicia? Well, Todd, President Biden has made it very clear that his hands are tied when it comes to legalizing abortion. But today's executive order was meant to expand access to other reproductive health services. I wish it had not come to this. This is the fastest route available. Two weeks after the Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe v. Wade, President Joe Biden signs an executive order pushing back. The executive order directs HHS to identify ways to expand access to reproductive health services. That includes IUDs, birth control pills, and emergency contraception. It also aims to protect women who might need to travel to different states for an abortion. The group Texas Value says they are not happy about it. It's very clear that he's really trying to use the legal department and the other agencies uh, to lead women to abortion as a form of birth control um, and not giving them other options. Uh, to raise a family or to um, have healthy lives. And Mary Castle is a senior advisor with Texas Values. She called the president's order a, quote, war on women and babies. Instead of helping them, especially in this economic downturn, he's basically saying that women have a right to kill their preborn child, even though the Supreme Court has declared that there's no right to abortion in the Constitution. As pro-life advocates push for an end to abortions altogether, pro-choice groups in Waco say this was just the first step towards reclaiming rights. While it's good and it's a step forward, it's something that should have been expected, something that should have happened, because overall, like, this helps. But women still have been like stripped of rights that are like needed and expected and should be expected. Pro-choice supporters say overturning Roe v. Wade and the abortion bans that followed are dangerous for women. Long before this point, like Roe v. Wade should have been codified and that it shouldn't have even been able to be reversed to this point because so many women's lives will be endangered because of this and it's, it's still going to affect so many people. Both groups say that there is still a lot of work that needs to be done, and they will continue to fight for what they both say should happen. In the newsroom, Alicia Nespreto, 25 News.